let's say you're given this shape here. Um, the, the distance from, uh, from here to here is A. Um, well, the, the distance from here to here is, uh, is twice the, the length of A. That's why it's, it's, it's 2A. Um, the diagonal line here is, uh, is B, the length of B. So this, this length must also be B, the, this diagonal here. And the, the height of this here is, is twice the length of this, of this length here. So it's 2A. Okay. So, so the height, this height here is 2A. Uh, which means this height here is the same as this height here. Okay. So you, so you're given this shape here. Somehow come up with the uh, formula for the perimeter of this shape. So press pause and have a go. All right. So here, let's say you're an ant. You you start. You could start anywhere. Let's say you start here. You've got to walk all the way up here. So that would be two a, and then from here, walk diagonally upwards here. That would be a distance of b. So plus b, uh, and then from up here, you walk diagonally downwards. That that would be a distance of another b. Okay, and then uh, from here. Straight down, that would be uh, a distance of 2a, so plus 2a. And then from here, you've got to walk to the left, back to your original uh, starting position. So that would be uh, another 2a, so plus 2a. And then, uh, and then here, this is your elephant, giraffe, giraffe, elephant, elephant. Merge all the elephants together, so two elephants plus two elephants plus two elephants. That would be uh, six elephants. Uh, and then plus two giraffes. Okay, so so the formula for the perimeter of this thing here is uh, is given by this. So if someone gives you this shape, all you need to know is the length a uh, and the length b, and then you can work out the perimeter of uh, of of this shape. Now the hard part: work out the perimeter. Uh, sorry, work out the the formula for the area of this thing here. Um, to do this, work out. Split it into two different shapes, two, two, sorry, three segments. So work out the area of this thing here. Basically, you get this times this. Remember that LIGO thing we did ages ago. Let's say 2x squared y to the power 3 times 3x to the power 4 y to the power 5. Uh, number times with a number, so that would be 6. Uh, and then x times with the x, that would be x to the power of uh, 6, and then and then y, y times the y here, y to the power of 3 times y to the power of 5, that would be y to the power of 8. If you don't understand this, you, you have to watch uh, watch the LIGO video ages ago. Uh, well, basically, use, use this technique here to do this. 2a times 2a, that will give us the area of the, uh, the square here. And then work out the, the area of this triangle here. But remember the area of the triangle here is get the, get this distance here, which is A, because, because from here to here is A. So from here to here is also A. And then times it by the vertical, the vertical, uh, height here. So basically you've got A here, and then this is a distance of 2A. So basically get, get this times this. That will give us the area of the rectangle. And then, and then basically divided by 2. So basically, get this times this, and then divided by two. That would give us the the area of this triangle here. So so basically, you're working out uh, this area here plus this area plus this area here. So add them all together. So somehow do that. Okay. So so come up with a formula for the area of this shape here. So press pause and have a go. Okay. So let's let's work out this this area first. Um, this square here. Uh, two, get this times this. So, uh, 2a times 2a. So that would be number times with a number, which is 4. Uh, and then a times a, which is a squared. So this area is given by 4a squared. Now the triangle. Uh, this, let, let, let's do this triangle here then. Uh, this distance here is a. And then you times it with with the height here, which is 2a. So basically, get this times this, it will give you the area of the rectangle, and then we've got to divide it by 2. So basically, get this times the, uh, the 2a. So, um, so get a times with 2a, and then we've got to divide it by 2. 
Okay, so basically, uh, that th this here becomes a times two a. That would become well. Imagine there's a one here. So number times with the number, uh, and then a times with the a. So so that would be number times with the number. Uh, that would be two. One times two is two, and then a times a. That would be a squared divided by two. Okay, so so the area of this thing here is given by uh, two a squared over over two. Okay, um, basically we've got a fraction here. We can divide top and bottom by by two, but basically these two kill of each other here. So so the the area of this thing here is actually just a squared, and then this area here is also a squared. Um, so, so, so when you when you were here, you can divide top and bottom by by two, basically. So, um, two two a squared divided by two is going to be a squared, and then you've got the bottom a two divided by two that would be one. Anything divided by by one is just a squared. That's why that's why this triangle here is just a squared, and then this is also a squared. Okay. So let's 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 do this again. Now, uh, this times this that would be four a squared. Okay, um, and then now we're going to get this times this, which is two uh, a times a. That that would be uh, that would be two a squared, and then we got to divide it by two because because when we get this times this, that would give us the the rectangle. So so. Um, so, so this thing here is the rectangle here, and then we've got to divide it by two, and then these two will kill off each other, leaving us a squared. So the the area here is a squared, okay, and then we've got another a squared here. So, so basically, the the formula a equals four a squared here, which is this bit here. Add it to uh, this a squared here plus a squared here. And then we've got this triangle here, which is another a squared here. Um, now tidy this up. Re remember, th this is our, like a liger here, liger here, liger here. Remember I said, like, a on its own is one entity. a squared is another entity. a to the power of 3 is another entity. Well, all these are the same here. It's just like me saying, uh, Four ligers plus a liger plus a liger. That would be uh, uh, four plus one plus one. That would be six. Six ligers. Okay. So so that so so the formula for the for the um, the area of this shape is given by by this. It doesn't matter if you don't understand this fully, but but just know it's possible. It, it is possible to find out the area, the formula for the area of this thing. Okay.